What is going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video. Today we are doing episode 24 of the Platinum Beast Answer Series. I look forward to getting into your comments. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so super excited about today's video. I have a couple of mail calls to make today. One is from none other than the Guam Stacker and the other one is from the Silver Sealer AMN. I'm not sure who that is. I do apologize, but once we open it up, I'm sure we'll figure out who it is. But we're also going to go over the comments from last week's video, so let's go ahead and dive into those. So up first, we have Mr. Jedder Matchtig Almighty says, I'm not a fan of the live streams. I like to pause video if needed. Will you sell platinum now? Yeah, the live stream thing, I think I'm going to hold off on making this series the live stream. I might end up live streaming just for fun on random days and things like that and just kind of see who jumps in. But as far as this series, I think most people have kind of mentioned how they would prefer if I didn't do a live stream. So I think I'm going to just keep this one a pre-recorded video. But I, that's not to say I don't plan on doing live streams as well in the future. But this series will be pre-recorded. So I'm just going to keep it the way it is. But your question is, will you sell platinum now? And the answer to that, my friend, is no, definitely not. I do not plan on selling platinum at the current time. Spot price just has not reached a level that I am comfortable with. And even when it does, I probably won't end up selling. I may just end up holding really forever. I may end up selling some of my smaller fractional bars, but we'll have to see about that. So thank you for your question though. And I definitely appreciate it, but I do not plan on selling platinum at the current time. Now, this is very, very cool. So we have a mail call from none other than the Guam Stacker. He sent me his sticker. He sent me his giant sticker. And his giant sticker is one of 100 Platinum Beasts, Guam Stacker. Very, very cool indeed. So we will just leave these in the video. But this is very cool. And he also sent me a letter. And I'll read it to you all. But it says, Platinum Beast, hey, thanks for the sticker before I even asked. I know you want to visit Guam one day, so here is a card and a quarter, the Guam Stacker. And he sent me a Guam quarter, guys. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. You did not have to do that, Guam. And I, I didn't even send you anything. I feel kind of bad about that. But this is epic, guys, because... A lot of you don't know, but I would love to visit Guam one day. There's something about them being a part of the United States and a part that most people have not visited and it being just so incredibly far away and yet still remain a part of the same country that I live in. I live on the East Coast, so I am almost as far away as you can get and still be in the same country. But this is super cool, guys. Super, super cool. I mean, wow, you did not have to do this, Guam. And I really, really appreciate it, man. Like, no joke. And he sent me this card that has a photo, I assume, of Guam on it. And it's just epic. I will keep this in my letterbox. I greatly appreciate it. And he sent me this beautiful silver Guam quarter. Now that is very cool, guys. Very, very cool indeed. Look at that. And it's silver. I mean, wow. The generosity is 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 unmatched, right? This has got to be one of the coolest things I've ever received in a mail call. You know, usually people will send me like a buffalo nickel or like a dime or something. But this is this is very, very cool. I will be linking Guam Stacker's channel in the description below. But that is very, very epic. So thank you, Guam. I really appreciate your mail call, bud. 
That is super awesome. And I look forward to seeing more of your videos. Guam Stacker is kind of new on the scene. So definitely go check out his channel. I'm going to link it in the description below. And be sure to go look at what he has as far as his videos because he's got a lot of cool stuff. So thank you, Guam Stacker. Okay, so back to the comments. Up next, we have Northern Coin says, The more I learn about platinum, the more I think I should be getting some. What coin would you recommend, sir? So I would recommend whatever's really the lowest premium. You really can't go wrong with any of the platinum coins. Now, at the current recording of this video, and by the time this video posts, that coin would be the Platinum Britannia. The 2021 has been released, and it is pretty much going for the lowest premium across the board at the current time. So... Yeah, I would definitely highly suggest that. And that would be the coin I would go for at the current time. Now, if you're an Eagle fan, Platinum Eagle isn't a bad option either. So definitely give that a look over as well. And yeah, that would be my suggestion at the current time. I'm also a big fan of the Queen's Beast series. I have all of the coins in the set that have been released thus far. So definitely keep an eye on that. The, the next Platinum coin for the Queen's Beast series to be released will be the horse, and it will probably be for the lowest premium available. So definitely go check that out, Northern Coins, if you get a chance. Now this mail call is from none other than Senior or Silver Senior AMN. Very cool stickers. Thank you, Silver Senior AM, AMN. And he sent me a letter that is kind of hard to put in the video, so I'll just read it out to you all. It says, Platinum Beast, thanks for sending me your stickers. You're one of the first channels I started watching on YouTube when I began my stacking. Keep up the good work, and in return, here are a couple of my stickers. If this gets to you before I hit 500 followers on my Instagram, I'll be having a giveaway. If not, it'll be at 1,000. So... Awesome, awesome mail call for sure. It looks like, unfortunately, there may have been a coin in this letter, but it looks like it ripped straight through the bottom. And it also looks like it ripped through the letter as well. So, super bummed about that. But, you know, it is what it is. When you send risky mail, that's what happens. So, unfortunately... I don't know what you sent, Silver Senior AMM, but I do appreciate it nonetheless. I hope it was nothing of extraordinary value. I'm sure it was like a dime or something, and no harm, no real foul. But thank you nonetheless. I love the awesome stickers. I love the kind words you left me in my letter. So thank you, Silver Senior AMM. And I believe you are typically on Instagram, so I'll leave you a message letting you know that I received your mail call if you happen to not see this video and let you know what happened. So, but thank you, Silver Senior AMM. I greatly appreciate it, my friend. So back to the comments, we have Mr. Dustin Salisbury says, I talk with you in a live stream. Also, maybe cool opportunity to trade slash move pieces for community members. Yeah, that is true. That would be an opportunity to kind of trade or move pieces that I may not want. I have thought about doing kind of random auctions. I don't really see myself doing a regular auction like some of the other bigger channels do, but I have thought about doing auctions over time, possibly just kind of random whenever I have some inventory I'm trying to move. But that is a great point to make, Dustin Salisbury, so I really appreciate that, my friend, and I appreciate your comment. All right, up next, we have Mr. Silver Gold Saver. Congrats on hitting over 1,000 subs, my friend. My man, you definitely deserve it. Thank you, Silver Gold Saver. I really appreciate it. You have been a long follower of my channel. Definitely go check him out if you haven't. He has a very cool channel, an amazing stack, which is second to none, really, in my opinion, as far as the just cool pieces he has in his stack. So definitely go check out Silver Gold Saver. Up next, we have Mr. Rebel County. It says, Platinum is looking okay for the foreseeable future. More content, please, live, etc. Thank you, Rebel County, for your comment. I do plan on doing lives and things like that, and I do not plan on slowing down as far as the content that I put out for you all to enjoy. 
So be sure to be on the lookout for new and future videos. I really appreciate your comment, my friend. Up next, we have Northern Coins again. Says, just looked on the Royal Mint website for the 2021 Britannia, and it looks like it does not come with the new added security features. That is correct. I made a video talking about that, but that is very correct. I do not believe they added the security features to that coin, although that is one of the best premium coins on the market right now. So I still would pick it up, especially from a reputable dealer. You don't really have to worry about authenticity when you're buying from a reputable dealer. You still can have it checked out at your LCS or if you have the specific machines to check it yourself. But overall, I've never been too concerned with reputable dealers. Most of their inventory comes straight directly from the Mint anyways, so no harm, no foul. But definitely take a look at that coin as far as its low premium and its overall availability because I do think that is a great buy at the current time. But thank you for your comment, Northern Coins. I really appreciate it. Up next, we have Mr. Four Nines Fine Silver. Says, I am too unreliable for a live stream, at least if you do it, on video, I can watch it at my leisure or in pieces. Yes, that is very true. Live streams do typically stay on videos for viewing pleasure for other channels to and other people to view later on if they perhaps live in a different time zone and are unable to join. So that is one good thing about live streams. So be on the lookout for future Platinum Beast live streams. But thank you for your comment, Four Nines Fine Silver. I really appreciate it, my good friend. Up next, we have Mr. Motor Kid. I also have a collection of coins, and you would ask me to tell them if they have any value. You would ask me to tell them if they have any value. Um, having a little bit of hard time kind of deciphering your comment, but awesome that you have a collection of coins, my friend, and I am sure, especially if they are made out of precious metals, they have value. If not, they probably still have value to a collector so that's very cool my friend and thank you for your comment up next we have mr aloha stacker aloha stacker has one of the best channels on youtube definitely go check him out if you get the chance he says i actually cannot think of a question this week hopefully you get the answer to the britannia question in the meantime i actually did end up making a video specifically answering this question so be sure to go check that video out but overall thank you for your comment aloha stacker i really appreciate your support for my channel up next, we have Mr. Mike Miller. The smallest fractional I've seen in a few months was a half ounce eagle, and it was 140 over spot. I own several fractional bars and coins. Platinum in itself. Anything fractional is getting hard to find. Nice vid, Platinum Beast, let the live streams roll. I agree. Platinum is getting very hard to find, especially in fractional form, so definitely pick some up if you can. But overall, especially the eagles. The eagles are going for astronomical premiums in fractionals. I haven't picked up a fractional eagle in I don't even know how long because it is very difficult to find them. But thank you for your comment, and thank you for your kind words, my friend. I do plan on doing live streams, so be on the lookout for that. Up next, we have Mr. iCust007. Good evening. Good evening to you, too, my friend. Thank you for your comment. I really appreciate it. Up next, we have Mr. Mutant Ryef. says, live streams need to not conflict with other live streams. I have way too many channel live streams that come out at the same exact time. Finding the proper time is key. I agree. I agree. I definitely agree. On that, my friend, it is kind of hard. There's so many people on the market, so many people in the game. It's kind of hard to pick. You have to end up picking one or the other to watch, and timing is definitely key, my friend. So thank you for your kind words and your kind advice and your comment. Up next, we have Mr. Matt Oakley says, A live stream might be fun. Yes, indeed, I do think it will be fun for sure. I think a live stream would be pretty cool to have. So be on the lookout for that, my friend. Up next, we have Mr. Robert Clarkson. I do not watch live streams. Sorry. See, as you can see, the idea behind live streams is kind of 50-50 across the board. And as far as this video series goes, I plan on keeping it just a pre-recorded video with the comments scrolling at the bottom. As far as live streams, I do plan on doing them. It's just a matter of when and about what, kind of. So be on the lookout, though, for live streams and keep up with this video series because I don't plan on stopping it anytime soon. Mr. Aloha Stacker says, A live would be cool, but the time difference between us, not sure how often it would work out for me. I agree. You know, I have a lot of followers that kind of are in different time zones, drastically different time zones. So I, it is kind of hard to plan out live streams and figure out what the best time is for the majority of my viewers. I'll never be able to make everyone happy because the world r runs on a 24-hour clock, but 
I will be able to probably find a decent time period where I can do live streams. So thank you for your comment. Aloha. Mr. Bob of the Hutt said, I posted on the last video, but I didn't read it. So here it is again, because I know it's pertinent to platinum. Okay, so true story. There was, last week I was getting an oil change for my Chevy, and I was wandering around the lot and ran into the truck fleet dealer. I asked him about the microchip shortage and if it's affecting business. He said his brother works on the 18-wheeler business, and those have pretty much stopped all production of big trucks due to no chips, and he is being directly affected for his mid-sized trucks at the factories. The smaller trucks, like the 1500 and normal size cars, aren't affected as much for now, but sees the chip shortage not going away anytime soon. That is a very interesting point to make, Bob of the Hud, because as we all know, diesel trucks use platinum in their catalytic converters. And if production slows down, that could reduce the overall need for platinum. But at the same time, I think it might kind of balance itself out because people will be using older trucks that don't need the chip or perhaps they already have a chip in them and they'll be extending the life of those trucks but the catalytic converters will end up going out on them maybe or what have you so they might end up having to replace catalytic converters on those trucks which in turn would kind of make up for the loss in regards to full size or heavy duty pickup trucks that run on diesel overall the the work load of america and the deliveries and things like that aren't really slowing down if anything they are increasing so they will need trucks whether old whether new what have you and they will have to meet certain standards depending on what state they are in or if they are a commercial delivery they will have to meet federal standards so they will have to keep their catalytic converters up to date as far as their inspections and things like that but that's an interesting point to make for sure bob of the hut so i really appreciate you letting me know what information that you learned in regards to heavy duty trucks and things of that nature that is very interesting for sure so thank you for your comment my friend up next we have bob mr bob says love the noble thank you my friend the noble is a very cool piece indeed and last but not least we have mr kenneth seeholzer says i think platinum is much better long term than gold i agree I see it surpassing gold at some point. I don't know exactly when that in. I don't have a magic crystal ball, but I do see it doing better than gold over time. So that is why I am the platinum beast and I stack platinum hardcore. But overall, guys, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for checking out another platinum beast answers video. I really appreciate it. Be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below on this video for next week's video. And until next time, guys, we will see you.